We clocked in with Kingsley Edwards. Las Vegas Knicks player, 56th grade. Yeah. Kingsley, just a hooper. Love what I do. My favorite player is like Kevin Durant, but yeah, KD. KD, your favorite player? And what's some of your favorite hoop shoes that you like to hoop in? Melos, uh, Kyrie's. Uh, That's really it. I know you play 2K. Huh? Yeah. Who's your favorite player to play with on 2K? Steph. Steph? Are uh, you playing the park? Yeah. Yeah? You good? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Or do I gotta carry you? 83. I'm an 80. I'm an 83. That's, that's but I'm a slasher, so. That's pretty good. Don't matter. How do you feel you played today? Uh, could have been better. Could have been better. Uh, you had 12 points the first game. Should have had 30. Should have had 30. Uh, what you feel like you need to work on? Um, keeping my head up, ball handling, facial facial expressions. Tell me this. Uh. Do you put in any extra work outside of the gym? Yeah, uh, my outside pops. Outside of practice? Yeah, mm -hmm. pops keep you in the gym? Yeah. All right, yeah. Good, good, good job, pops. Huh? <laughs> uh, let me see what else. Uh, school? Oh, yeah, any uh, colleges or high schools in mind? Ooh. I want to go to UNC or Duke. I want to go over there. Any high schools? Borman. Borman? Yeah. Uh, you have a coach over there? No. Uh, you gotta find out who the coach is and start getting in contact with him now. Let him know who you is now. Let him know who King is. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? Uh, shoot, I mean, he dressed for Gorman already. I stay coming. Man. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. Uh, Shout out to Clock In TV. We out. Hey, I don't like contact. Well, you know that. <laughs> It's a lot of talent in Vegas, around the city, so we just like to give them a chance to showcase it, you know, every Saturday. I mean, man, what's your name, man? Let people know who you are. Denard Taylor. I'm the uh, co-director of the Las Vegas Knicks. Been doing this for about nine years now, uh, coaching kids from kindergarten to 12th grade. Been fortunate enough to move about 30 of them to Division One, and a few of them all the way to the NBA. So we're very proud of the things that we've been able to do. That's smooth right there. Yep, yep. I mean, what, uh, what sparked the interest to even start the program? So just love for basketball. You know, when you get old, you can't play no more. So say, yeah, <laughs> do the next best thing. But, yeah, my mother was a teacher, educator. So I think I just love teaching the game, love being around the young men and women. Uh, they give you a lot of energy. Hard to be mad when you're in the gym with a lot of young kids that are eager to learn. So, you know, as much as I – Get, give to them, I get a lot back from them as well. Oh, yeah. They keep you Keep you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know about NBA Young Boy, <laughs> Lil Dirt, all that, you so know. Who pump you up in the day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, sponsors, uh, obviously, TBA, Tarkanian Basketball Academy, Team Believe Clothing. Uh, they always sponsor every year, so very proud to have them. And Sino, uh, doing all our media. We appreciate y'all coming out. It means so much to the kids just to see themselves on Instagram, social media, whatever. It's a very big deal. My name is Brian Jolly. I'm the program director and owner of the Sin City Sauce Boys. We're here on Saturday competing in the Holiday League. My man Denard Taylor with the Las Vegas Knicks. Always show love for years, man. Anything we can do to support him as an organization, consider it done. Are you originally from, man? Originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, he's good. Oh. Yeah, Midwest boy. Always, yeah, grew up in the cold, but was outside shoveling snow, shooting jump shots, dribbling, ball handling, playing ball my whole life. Okay. Yep. Okay, okay. What got you to Vegas? What made you come to Vegas? Uh, originally, my wife was in the military, so she got stationed here uh, back in 2010. Started having kids in that year, had a son in 2012. Wanted to keep them away from the game. I played basketball myself, had a lot of good times, some heartbreak with it. Uh, wanted to keep him away, but he chose basketball. So about 2017, start coaching here locally. You coach your sons? Yes. Yep. Right. So tell me this: What are your? Uh, what do you give back to the like the basketball community? Why are you in the, still like latched on to basketball? Man, I figure. Uh, so basketball, the way I look at it is, you probably have out of a program of 100 kids, you might have two or three to make pro ranks or uh, play high-level college basketball, but every kid's going to be an adult. 
So uh, the game of basketball or any sport, for that matter, teaches kids a lot about life. So we do it for the life lessons. 100% of them are going to grow up and become adults. So we want to just turn out good humans. So we've actually expanded now. We do flag football and girls volleyball. So as a program, uh, we're just looking to impact kids' lives as much as we can, keep them in the gym, keep them out of trouble. That was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. On top of that, it's the Sauce Boys. If uh, anybody in the community is open, every Tuesday and Thursday at Walnut Recreation Center, we do a free clinic for the community from 5.30 to 6.30. A lot of those kids learn a lot of basic skills, and they actually transition over to play AAU basketball with us. But we're constantly giving back to the community. Any other events or anything you got up and coming? Uh, up and coming for the Sauce Boys, we'll be playing May Hoops with West Coast Supreme Team in December. The same weekend, uh, all of our elite kids will be playing Under Armour from uh, grades 5 through 8. So we'll be playing the Under Armour circuit and the Marquee circuit this uh, winter and spring. Uh, shout out to our players that we put in college last year, our first year doing high school ball. Shout out to two of our pro players, Jordan and Jared Davis, who also coach with us. They're playing overseas right now in Romania and Spain. Uh, we just want to keep the legacy going. Those are guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. They, they, uh, Jared's son, Jason Young, yeah. plays for me, one of my better players. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jared, Jared coached my high school team all last summer. That's Jordan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Huh? Yeah, we did his content. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so the Sauce Boys, yep. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, okay. And their dad coaches uh, our middle school and high school group now. Oh, that's new. Yeah, yeah, family uh, affair. Tell me this, coaching your kids, is that harder? What's the, what, the pressure? What? Uh, I think it's harder on the kid. As a parent, I grew up from tough coaching, so it's easy for me to dish it out to my son. Yeah. I'm probably, um, not probably, everybody said I'm harder on him than other kids. There's no daddy ball here. Is that true? What? Did you harder on, on him? Oh, 100%. Everybody will tell you I am. I'm relentless on him. Yeah, so, I mean, he lives with his dad. His dad's a coach, and I demand excellence. So I know what it is to go through. Um, hopefully when he sees this six or seven years from now, when he's in 12th grade, he'll understand why I did a lot of the things that I did. Uh, yeah, man. If he will, won't, the world will. 100 percent. And it's my job to prepare him for it. Yeah, it's my job to prepare him for it. So um, I love him up at home when I can. When we hit the world, I mean, it's, it's a representation of what he's going to see. So I want to make sure I'm giving him you know, all the tools necessary to uh, build build uh, the reality that he wants one day. Hey man, shout out to my guys at Clocked In TV, Sin City Sauce Boys. They doing big things, man. Hope these guys keep going to the top. Much love. Oh, I'm big brother, man. Come on now, come on now. Come on now, come on now. That's, that's baby bro. That's baby bro. Okay. Oh, okay, that's baby bro. Oh, that's, baby, bro. oh, that's respect. Oh, that's what I hope it's all good. Okay, bet. Hey, man, who we got here today, man? Oh, this is Coach Gucci. Born and raised Las Vegas. Coach Gucci. me. you had the girls out here going to Going to work. Man, I appreciate that. Yeah, they play hard, man. We got a good group. I got blessed actually with a good group, man. So I actually wanted to just get in this boys' league with our girls just to give them get some extra bumps. You know what I mean? See how the faster the much the game's a little faster with the boys. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Just to, when I when they go back and play with the girls, we should be a different group. We should be a different group. Not fast. This is our first week in doing that. Yeah, this is our first week. This is our first time actually ever playing against the boys. So yeah, yeah. Oh, Y'all was on your own. For yeah, sure. respect, respect. Yeah. Okay, what uh, what inspires you coaching the girls? I know you had the boys before. Yeah, well, actually, the girls actually. Well, my goddaughter. I know you've heard if you heard of uh, Aaliyah Spade, okay. Lizzie. So that's what really just got me on the girls right right now. Was just just taking it on with her. Then the girls game, man. We just I really want to bring some excitement to the game, man. You know what I mean? That's kind of they downplaying and all that. When we got it in our backyard, you know, we running rebels. Girls went Mountain West. We got the aces. So I'm trying to bring it, you know what I mean? Just, just keep it going out here, right? Oh, yeah, facts. The girls brought the chip home first. That part, that part. So let's get it, keep it going with our young ladies, man. That's it, that's it. Man, what inspires you just to get in the coaching, man? Just the kids, man. I give it back, yo. I know it's for a reason. I know it's not because of my talent that I'm not in the league. So I know it's because of the decisions I made. So the decisions I make, I'm make sure they don't make the same decisions. That's it. I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing, for sure. Man, you're doing a good job. Man, respect, yo. I take pride in it, yo. Appreciate it, yo. And, man, can we get a clock in TV shout out? Yeah, for sure. You know, clock in, man. Make sure y'all lock in, man. The clock in, go get y'all right. Uh, Vegas, clock in, all right? Back.
How you doing? I'm uh, Coach Walter Brown with the Desert Freeze basketball program out of Las Vegas. I'm Benjamin Brown, a player for Desert Freeze. <laughs> LeBron, Kobe, John Morant, Luka Doncic, and Giannis. Yeah, Kobe, you know, Jordan, I'm real old fast, and Shaq, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shaq, you know, that's who I really try to model my kids after mentality-wise and game-wise. All of them, really, you know, it don't even matter, you know. He slacked off a little bit, but it was always Shaq for me, so you know what I mean, so. Duke in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, we got a program from 5th to 8th grade out of Las Vegas, so um, we're trying to really build it up. It's been around for about 8-9 months now. We're really looking to be one of the top teams in the nation with our 7th and 6th grade team this year. So, What's your um, name again? Desert Freeze. Desert Freeze. Yes, sir. What's behind it? Actually, we um, got a guy who sponsors us with a Philly Freeze Me program. It's an Italian ice program out here in Las Vegas, and he does a lot of things for the community and stuff like that. So if you guys ever get a chance, Swing by Philly Freeze Me, you know what I mean? We appreciate it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, anything else you want to say? What's your favorite flavor? You been there? Uh, yeah. It's sour apple and blue raspberry. Okay. Wait, so it's ice cream? It's Italian ice cream. Some of the best ice cream you'll get, you know what I'm saying? They got some for the adults, too. Spike drinks and stuff like that with the ice cream. Okay. I mean, it's best ice cream you're going to get. I can't can't speak on it high enough. But, uh, <laughs> no, nah, we really, uh, we loving it out here. We only been out here for two years. You know, these are my sons right here, the Benjamin boys right here. I mean, the Brown boys right here. So, um, we really trying to build a program and bring a different culture and look to Las Vegas right now. So, what y'all represent? We uh, represent Las Vegas, but we've, um, we're from uh, Kentucky, Ohio area right there. That's about it, man. I appreciate y'all coming out. Once again, thanks a lot. Any teams looking for exposure and, and want to get your guys some good games and a good league, come check us out at TBA. Clocked in TV.